Okay, so now we move to coordination. Now, if you have coordination, how can you branch a sentence? For example, I like John and Annie. How are you going to branch John and Annie? Okay, so when you have coordination in between nouns, between prepositions, between verbs, etc., this is what we are going to see how we can branch okay, words of phrases with conjunctions. So two elements with identical categories that are joined together with words like and, or, ban, etc. So here are some examples, the blue and red station wagon. So here we have conjunction between adjective phrases. I saw these dancers and those musicians. We have coordination between two noun phrases. And here we have coordination between two verb phrases. And in D, we have coordination between two sentences. And in E, we have coordination between two prepositional phrases. We went through the words and over the bridge. Okay, so we are going to generate a rule that applies to all of them. Okay, so notice that coordination seems to be able to join together identical categories and create a new identical category out of them. And by the way, we can conjoin only elements that belong to the same syntactic category. You cannot conjoin, for example, a verb and a determiner, okay? So to generate these structures, we may need two rules. One to conjoin phrases, for example, the man and the woman, and one to conjoin words, the dancer and sinner, uh, which means that we need one rule for the XP and one rule for the X one for the lexi lexical category, and one for the phrasal category. So these are the two rules. So please remember, when you have the conjunction, this is the rule, XP, XP, conjunction, XP. Or when you have only lexical categories, X, X, conjunction, X. Of course, we said last time, avoid having two lexical categories. So with the exception, I said it last time, but you didn't pay attention to it, but now I'm going to explain it. Okay, avoid having two lexical categories in a, in a, in a phrase. I'm not talking about a phrase, but talking about branching a phrase uh, at the top level. So if you have two, if you have conjunction between two words, for example, blue and red, so you can write adjective, 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 conjunction. This is the only way that can help you branch this phrase. Or you can write here, or you can write uh, why here, why here, Adjective, adjective, adjective. Of course, it's problematic because we don't know which one is the head. That's why, and this is something we're not going to cover, some syntacticians claim that it's the conjunction that should head the, this phrase. We should say the conjunction phrase, not the adjective phrase. Okay, when we are talking about conjunction between two adjectives. Okay, so please, when you have conjunction, for example, between two noun phrases, these dancers and those musicians, remember this rule. You should have the NP here, the NP, the NP, and the conjunction. I repeat, when, whenever you have conjunction, you should have NP, NP, conjunction, NP. If you have conjunction between VP, then it's very easy. You should have VP, VP, conjunction, VP. If you have conjunction between two preposition phrases, the same thing. Preposition phrase, preposition phrase, conjunction. Preposition phrase, preposition phrase. Okay, it's very easy. This is the meaning of X, okay? XP, XP, conjunction, XP. X can be replaced by any K. 
category you replace it with noun adjective etc but x okay only when you have when you have only words when you have only words for example blue and red when you have conjunction between lexical categories okay for example he uh, uh, speaks and writes so here speaks and writes so you, have, you should have verb verb conjunction verb but if you have verb phrases uh, adjective phrases noun phrases then you have to follow rule b okay here is another example the verb phrase verb phrase so drinking lemonade eating brownies so the vp conjunction vp vp okay vp vp conjunction vp and then you continue in the vp we have the verb and noun phrase in the vp we have the verb and the noun phrase of course i said last time avoid having two phrasal categories avoid having a phrase that has no head this is problematic we'll talk about we'll talk about it we'll talk about it in the expert theory okay we'll talk about the problem that this phrase has no head okay <coughs> we'll we'll modify this so but what you have to remember is this when you have a conjunction between two words follow this rule if we have for example man and woman then noun noun conjunction noun but if you have the man and the woman then okay you should have in p in p conjunction in p but in my opinion if you write okay here adjective phrase adjective phrase adjective phrase I will accept it because a word is a phrase indeed. Professor. Any question? Yes. Professor. One one by one. Yes. Uh, Nordin. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, what about the sentences which contain ambiguity? Uh, should we draw the two? We are. Do we <laughs> are going to talk about this. Please don't jump, Mr. Nordin. Thank you. We'll talk thank about you. this. I'll talk about okay. this. Khadija, ask me about what we are doing now. Yes, Professor, I'm going to ask you about uh, the example A. Mm -hmm. uh, for the, uh, should we have at the top of the tree adjective phrase or adjective in A? I, I answered this question, okay? I said uh, we have two lexical categories, two words. If you have conjunction between two words, you can use only adjective, adjective, adjective. Okay, but if you use adjective phrase, I will accept it because a word is a phrase in itself. Because, because we are going to modify this in expert theory. Okay, you just need to be, you just need to understand and be patient. Okay, because what we are doing now, I said it last time, what we are doing now is to some extent wrong. We'll modify it, okay? But remember, okay, uh, the rules we are talking about now. Now, the, the sentence, the sentence, for example, if you have two sentences, for example, I have lost my wallet or I have lost my mind. Please remember, if you have a link between two sentences, if you use conjunctions or and but etc then this is the only way to bridge it use tp two times so because we have two sentences the idea is very simple because here we have two verb phrases so we conjoin them verb phrase verb phrase and they are conjoined okay we have two sentences we conjoin them so tp the head the mother of the two sentences the mother of the two sentences and then every sentence has mother and this is like if you say the mother of the mothers okay this is the mother of this sentence this is the mother of this sentence and this is the grandmother okay so this is the first sentence and this is the second sentence they are conjoined okay with or then t tp we have the in the subject. I remember, if you have 
auxiliaries, modals, tenses, etc., then uh, write them under T, under T, okay? Then the VP, okay? The verb takes the in P as its complement, my wallet, okay? Then the same thing here, okay? We may have conjunction between prepositional phrases, for example, through the words and over the bridge, okay? So we have two prepositional phrases that are conjoined by end. The first preposition phrase uh, through the word, so uh, uh, through the preposition takes the in P as its complement. And the same thing here, over the bridge. Remember, this is, this is a rule. The preposition always takes the in P as its complement. Okay? 